<clears throat> what's going on what's going on everybody we're gonna see if we're live now <clears throat> let's see let's see uh i think we are give, let's give it a second hmm. let's see hmm. i think we're live let's see oops okay perfect so i think we are live Let's see, let's see if we're live. Perfect. So we are live. What's going on, everybody? My name is Christian Humani. I'm the investors agent here in Hagerston, Maryland. In this video, I want to talk about two things, right? I want to, I want to, well, one main thing I want to talk to you about what are the best markets for cash flow in Maryland? Okay. A lot of times people invest for multiple reasons, you know, one being cash flow, the other one being for appreciation. And I'm going to be talking about particularly cash flow in markets in Maryland. And before that, though, I want to make sure that as I can reach out as many people as possible. I'm going to share this on my on my business page, which is Christian Humanity the Investors Agent. Uh, for everybody that's watching right now, uh, if you can like or share this video, uh, I'm going to dive in really soon. So let me share this video. Give me a second. Uh, once I do share it, I want to make sure that everybody is able to see it, right? So... It's important for me to share it because we don't want to be stingy. We want to share this with people. Uh, I think it's important for anybody that's trying to invest in, in Maryland. Okay. If you're investing in Maryland and you're looking for cash flow in markets, I'm going to tell you the two markets that, in my opinion, are the best markets for cash flow. And I'm going to dive into one of them particularly since I'm an expert in one. So let me share this video with everybody. And I'm going to put uh, the best markets for cash flow right in Maryland right so i'm going to put the best markets for cash flow everybody loves cash flow best markets for cash flow in Maryland okay and then obviously i have to put join me live right because they have to come and join me live okay perfect so i'm going to be sharing that with a few people as well um <laughs> that's funny Okay, one second. Give me, give me about three minutes and I'm going to get started very shortly. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Let's see. Give me about a couple seconds here, a couple minutes. I got to share this because I got to get people to come in. Uh, let me share this thing here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's a funny picture. Okay, join me live and watch. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. So let's talk a little bit about it. Okay. Let's talk about this. Well, first of all, welcome. Welcome. If you're here watching via live or via recording, uh, I want to welcome you. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video and learn more about real estate investing with me. Okay. So first, before anything, I want to describe two different markets. Okay. You got to understand two different things, right? So there is appreciating markets, right? If you're investing for appreciation and uh, there's cash flow in markets, if you're investing for a return, right? Month to month, a higher return, right? Now, a couple of things about these two markets, the appreciating market or, or markets with a high appreciation. These are the markets that if you're in Maryland, I'll give you an example, like Montgomery County, right? You're getting returns maybe of 5%, right? But properties are a lot expensive. They're more expensive, 300, 400,000. Okay. And you're getting a 5% return. So you're not getting a lot high return. However, you are getting that appreciating market, right? You're getting the values growing every year. It's values growing every year um, where you're, it gives you, you know, not a lot of risk, but enough return over time. Get it? Return over time. So what, and if you're looking at this cash flow in markets, usually properties are a lot cheaper under $150,000, right? Maybe I'll give you an example, Hagerston market, 10% return. This is very conservative. You can get 12, 50 more, but 10%, okay? Properties are cheaper, all right? You're not seeing values growing over time, you know, a lot. You're not really not betting on that. You're really not investing in the long-term for appreciation, but your return every month is high, okay? It's much higher. Now, aside that, these two markets, obviously, in appreciating markets like Montgomery County, household income might be a hundred or eighty thousand bucks, right? Eighty thousand a year, right? And then maybe in the Hagerstown market, for instance, maybe it's forty-five, 
you know? So in both markets, you do still have to do your due diligence, right? Your tenant placement has to be on point, right? But maybe in Hagerstown, you have to have, you have to be more delicate. You have to be more diligent with that, okay? So it's very important. There's two factors that will uh, push you to either one of these spectrums, two factors. And one is gonna be your purchasing power. Because if you only have $100,000, you're kind of limited, right? You're probably going to lean to this side instead of this side, okay? So purchasing power is one. And number two is going to be risk tolerance. Risk tolerance is going to be big because if you want lower risk, then you're, you're okay with lower returns as long as the values will grow over time. Uh, you get um, tenants with higher income, which sometimes can translate in less headaches, less problems, right? So if you have a lot of capital, and don't want to take a lot of risk, maybe these are the ones you want to be in. This market, appreciating market, right? This uh, market's enough of, that have high appreciation over time. Or maybe you have limited capital, okay? And you're okay with the risk, right? You're okay with a little more risk, right? Now, obviously, as an investor, you want to learn ways how to reduce or mitigate that risk. So in this case, you're going to invest less money. You're going to get a bigger return, but then maybe it comes with a little higher turnover rate, right? Maybe it comes with that, maybe a little more headaches. But think about it. If you either, in both markets, if you self-manage, you, you better want to, want to learn how to have uh, tenant placement uh, systems in place, right? Or you better want to hire a property management comp company that's competent, okay? So either or, those two variables are very important. Very, very important. Your purchasing power, number one, and number two is your risk tolerance. You got to understand that. Okay. You got to understand that. Now, now that we talked about appreciating markets, markets with appreciation, markets with high cash flow, in my opinion, it is my opinion that the two markets that are best markets for a, for a cash flow is going to be some parts of Baltimore City and Hagerstown. And let me explain why. These two markets have a couple things in common. Two things. Number one, over 50% of the people that live in Baltimore City and Hagerstown rent. What does this mean, Christian? Simply means that there is actively people looking for places to rent. Most of the people there rent. So if you have a vacancy, you're gonna fill it up much quicker, right? So high rentability, it's important. You gotta have a demand for rentals. And when 50, over 50% 50 of the people there rent, you bet your butt that's going to be in it, in that system, right? In that marketplace. So that's one, right? Demand for rentals, right? That's important. And number two, okay, what's number two? Well, number one is demand for rentals, right? Uh, number two is going to be, uh, well, number three is predictability, okay? Uh, number two is going to be the price. The price is affordable. Price is, you can buy properties that are cheap. By buying properties that are cheaper than other markets, your return is going to be higher, okay? More likely. Now, if you look at some parts of Baltimore City and Hagerstown. Now, I'm an expert in Hagerstown, Maryland, okay? I know the Hagerstown market, the rental market in every neighborhood and every street. I know the turnover rate. I have an idea. I have rentals throughout town too. I'm able to identify, right? In Baltimore City, though, I've, I have clients that own properties in Baltimore City. I hear people that fail. I hear people that succeed, okay? But they have guidance. My best recommendation, if you're looking into the, a Baltimore city, you need guidance. You need a, an agent that specializes in that market. You know, it's even, even difficult for an agent there to identify which markets have that potential because it's dynamic. It changes. It's very little bit um, high risk, I would say. But there's a lot of opportunities, a bunch of opportunities. Hagerstown has maybe 50, 60,000 people. Baltimore City has over 7 million people, right? So you have a bunch of opportunities here. You have opportunities in Hagerstown, but it's a smaller market, okay? Now, the difference between these two is probably Hagerstown is more predictable, okay? And I like that. That's why I'm in Hagerstown, right? So very important. I believe in, it's my opinion that those two markets are the best markets for cash flow because they have over 50% uh, of the people that rent, okay? High demand for rentals. And number two, the prices are extremely cheap or very cheap. Okay, base comparing with their rental amount, right? So the returns are very high, okay, and the risk is somewhat um, in the middle. There, you know, now Baltimore City again. I'm not an expert, so you definitely want so a guidance. I only hear things, but I'm an expert in Hagerstown, and I can understand that 
you know, any market is going to come with risk. Your job is to mitigate, reduce that risk uh, via tenant placement, doing it yourself, or hiring a property management company that will have a proper tenant placement uh, and is going to help you manage the properties. Okay. So it's very important, very important to understand. That's my quick video. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. And if you guys like this thing, you know, like this content, make sure you like, subscribe and share, right? And send me messages if you're buying, selling or investing in Hagerstown or in Maryland in general. I would love to help, even if it is just a conversation. Okay. Take care, guys. See you later.